we had servers, then we had virtual machines, right? Lighter weight, smaller, you could break a huge machine into small sections that were virtually isolated in a secure little box called the virtual machine, which is kind of what it sounded like. Well, over time, we evolved past that to the idea of a container, which allows us to slice up a, a virtual machine into an even smaller package, if you will, to manage a specific workload. The difference with a container is there's no security boundary. So if you're used to working with vir virtual machines, there's this security boundary that it's hard to break through. That's how it was designed. Containers were actually designed to allow uh, microservices to co-reside inside a single virtual machine with not a lot of security boundaries native, well, actually none. So you have to go in there and, and be able to put tools in place to secure those containers. Um, the container is a super lightweight way to package up and deploy and move around. And you don't think of an application as one container, an application is maybe 10 containers, each of them working together to create an application, which gets us into a whole nother, uh, whole nother conversation about why faster, easier time to um, adapt, easier reuse, easier time to develop. And each of those 10 containers has their own CI CD like release process. So one container might update every day because there's new patches every day and another container might need to be updated every week. So